all right all right all right hey youtube i'm lucky and in today's video we're going to be going over the destiny 2 hotfix we got 3101 uh destiny has actually been down for two hours bungie's taking it down for two full hours they're putting a lot into this one and uh let's go ahead and read what we got here activities battlegrounds fix an issue where umbor engrams could spawn under the ground when the engram inventory is full interesting fix an issue where generators could be destroyed when fire team members or combatants were within close proximity could not be destroyed okay uh, fix an issue where players were responding in the land tank after disconnects and becoming trapped that is hilarious i actually never had that happen to me that's funny i actually want to see someone getting trapped in the land tank strikes fixed an issue where players could not access fallen saber in the strikes playlist or direct launch node dang there it is saber strike is back i'm actually stoked um, i wonder if that's gonna be the nightfall this week i bet it is I, i'd be willing to bet saber strikes the nightfall it'll probably be the machine gun that would drop with it fire dude fire i gotta do a few saber strikes get him one of those machine guns to drop for me ui fixed formatting of seasonal rank strings where text was overlapping fixed an issue where players could temporarily soft lock the game and exit vendor performances in the helm change xp reward icon on the quest details screen to match xp icon used throughout the rest of the game interesting some small ui stuff gameplay investment eververse uh i don't know if i'm necessarily going to read all of the eververse i'm sure there's just a bunch of weird bugs with bright engrams and stuff like that so it doesn't seem like anything too crazy in here so i'll skip over that but uh they fixed a bunch of stuff with eververse that's good collections <clears throat> fixed an issue where the war weary shader was not appearing in collections um fixed and where the salvager salvo grenade launcher could not be reclaimed from collections okay so they fixed it so that you could pick up the salvager salvo from collections i had to read it the way it was actually worded Fix an issue where the contenders banner and the next chapter emblems were displaying the same art. Fix an issue where players could retrieve the season of the chosen ritual emblems from collections without completing the steps to earn them. Interesting. See, I remember that about Salvation Salvo. The same thing happened with the sniper last season. So whatever the new ritual weapon is, if you infuse it or delete it for whatever stupid reason, you can't get it back. Like they keep doing the same thing that happened last season too. So next season, make sure you don't delete the ritual weapon or infuse it or else uh, you're going to be shit out of luck. Uh, mods fix an issue where some mods were removed if their artifact version was equipped during the season of the change yes oh my god yes this is um hand cannon targeting uh, and other mods as well so if you had a mod equipped a seasonal artifact mod from last season equipped on your armor uh then it bugged out the mod for this season so this means that hand cannon targeting should be back on all your helmets as it should be and any other mods that were seasonal from last season but the biggest culprit of this was hand can targeting so happy they finally fixed that fragments fix an issue where whisper of change was not properly granting damage reduction when you're frozen enemies great that's all i wanted was some stasis to get fixed bounties pursuits challenges fix an issue where players could continue to earn additional hawk moons if they didn't pick up the quest and join others damn they fixed that bug i think that was the i think that's the similar bug to uh additional hawk moons yeah, I think that's the same bug. I'm not sure if that was the delete a character one, though, where you could farm power ammo. Maybe. Um, fixed an issue where a proving runes description from the war table is different than the actual rune you get. Reduce the number of wins required for the legendary glory triumph from 50 to 5 to be aligned with the same requirement from the season of the hunt. Fixed an issue where some weekly challenge engrams were dropping at a higher power than intended. Interesting. Fixed an issue where players were unable to reset their valor after four resets. Yes! Oh my god, this is me. I have my valor reset I have reset it four times now um or i'm about to i'm at 2000 valor and i can't reset it and they're finally fixing this finally fix an issue where players were unable unable to reset their infamy after one reset really oh, that's crazy i didn't realize that was a bug i didn't reset my infamy i didn't play enough gambit uh fixed issue where players were incorrectly earning powerful rewards after three valor resets hmm. general fix an issue where audio was out of sync in the season of the chosen opening somatic fix an issue where several vendor tooltips were incorrect Fixed an issue, fixed a Season of the Chosen purchase information screen, which had an incorrect translation in Brazilian Portuguese. Poha! Good, happy they fixed that. And that's a wrap for this. Cool. So it looks like we got a bunch of stuff. The hand cannon targeting. We got the uh, Fallen Saber Strike. And a bunch of stuff that's fixed. The, the Valor Reset. Stoked. This is awesome. This is a good, good fix. Now we just got to wait for the servers to come back up. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe with notifications on. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.